What differentiates your organization from the competitors? What keeps you in business? What keeps your profit margins high? What leads to repeated sales is all your data. Every organization has intellectual property that differentiates them from the competitor. However, many organizations don't focus effort on protecting their data. They recognize that it's there, but they don't put anything in place, they don't control it, and probably the best example is portable devices. A laptop is no longer a laptop. A laptop in this day and age is a portable server. If you just look back three years ago, a laptop is equivalent in processing, in hard drive, and in memory to servers that were in data centers just three years ago. So now you have these portable servers that have 80 or 100 gigs worth of information that people are carrying around anywhere. And you have to ask yourself why. If our servers are so important that we have our servers locked up in a data center with guards with passcodes and we limit and control access to it, why would we allow the same data on that server to be put on a laptop with almost minimal protection? So organizations have to really implement what we call least privilege and really restrict and control the data. Many solutions out there today are put on laptops or networks to try to control the data. The problem is once the data is off the server, it's too late. You protect the data at the server and the way you keep it secure is making sure it doesn't leave the server and if it leaves the server it goes to a secure location. So organizations have to do a better job of hardening down their servers not just from a patching and an operating system perspective but going in and being able to put access controls on their servers, limiting the data and controlling where that data goes and one area that works out well is security incident management or security event management, SimSend solutions, because what they can do is show correlation between data access trails and somebody trying to compromise information. For example, many organizations would have no way of knowing if somebody tried to access a piece of data and they were denied access. I then sent an email to my friend Mary she copied the data off the server and emailed it to me. Clearly that's a problem. Eric couldn't get the data, Mary got it on behalf of Eric and sent it to him, yet many organizations without some advanced correlation or analysis would have no way of knowing that that occurred. So organizations need to spend a little more time focusing in on where their data is going, who's accessing it, and doing high-level correlation so they can identify data theft problems before that data leaves the company and goes to a competitor. For additional information or details, you can contact us at Secure Anchor.